Okay, moving on to the bike. As you can see, I still have a lot of the components off. This is from when I showed you the, uh, the valve clearance. Um, things you'll need to remove, uh, the things you'll need to do, you'll need to drain all the oil and the coolant, which uh, hopefully if you're preparing to change out your cylinder, you already know how to do that. If not, then you might want to might learn that, but I have other videos that show you that. Uh, you want to have the obviously the valve cover off. You want to have the carburetor off or move to the side. You want to have your heart, hot start cable. Uh, I've got it just hanging up here. Uh, you got to have it removed from the carb, obviously. Uh, obviously, you want to have your tank and your and your uh, your uh, radiator covers off. Uh, the rear the rear subframe is makes it a lot easier too if you've got that off. I've got that all off. It, it's two bolts. It's not a big deal. Um, other things. Uh, I think that's really about it. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to release the cam on your, or the uh, tension on your uh, timing chain. So we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, we'll be right back. Right, there's a couple ways you can actually release the temp tension on the timing chain. You can either take the whole assembly off or you can take the end bolt off and then screw it in. Uh, I believe it is, yeah, clockwise. We'll loosen it up. You can see the chain is just falling in there. There we let it go. Either way you want to do it, but you'll have to hold it that way if you want to do it, if you want to loosen it uh, this way. Easiest way probably is to take the end of it off, or take the whole assembly off and then let the chain dangle there, which is what we're going to do. I just wanted to show you both ways. And we do have these in all the videos, so I'm not going to go real, real in depth on these uh, little tutorials here on how to do this because I've got it in other videos and uh, I'll probably put those in the link below. So. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to move up to the cans. Stay tuned. Okay, we've got the uh, timing chain loose. And if you are doing a swap like this, one thing I did want to mention, you might as well take this out anyway because you're going to be replacing that whole cylinder. So uh, that is a little bit of uh, advice there. Um, you can see we've got uh, it loose. Next thing you want to do, you can put a screwdriver or something in here um, once you've got the chain off to hold it up and put something in there. I'm not really going to worry about it at this point, but again, I've got other videos out there that describe on how to do this and, and so on. So I'm not going to go into a lot of details on some of these small parts. You'll just have to watch the other videos, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to loosen up the bolts on the top of the cams and they're eight millimeter and you want to have them to spec. So we're going to go ahead and do this and, uh, Stay tuned. Okay, we've got one of the cam caps. We've got it all loose, so go ahead and gently pull that out. Be very uh, careful with it. You also got a clip you got to get out of there, right there. And then uh, do the same for the other side. We're going to go ahead and get both these out, and then uh, here's how you pull the cam out. I guess I can show you that while we're here. <clears throat> Just gently pull that up as well. There it is. And here are your valve buckets, which if you're wondering in the clearance issue or the uh, video, here are your valve, valve buckets right there. See all three of them? That are the actual buckets. So just a little bit of information there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this other one out and then uh, move to the next step. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the motor mount. Uh, another piece of advice, <clears throat> if your bike's not clean, you may wanna take the motor out of the bike. It's only a few screws. The, the bad part is the rear swing arm. But if your bike's not clean, you don't want to drop anything in here. This bike is pristine, so I mean, there's, you know, it's cleaner than my workbench, probably. So, we'll go ahead and take this motor mount out. It's three screws, or bolts and nuts, two at the top, and then one here right on the, uh, on the head itself. Now, you don't necessarily have to take the top ones out, but it, it'll make your life a lot easier um, instead of trying to move around that. So, I'm going to go ahead and take these off and uh, move to the next steps.